Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan Kiney and welcome back to Overwatch. And there's a question to be asked. It's a question that every content creator, every, pretty much every Overwatch player is asking right now. In the next year or even more, where's the content going to come from? Now, disclaimer, just, just before I start going on in this video, I don't want to sound like a spoiled brat. We have got some really, really good content coming for Overwatch with Overwatch 2 and that. Just, I have some real, real concerns on how we're going to limp through with Overwatch on life support until Overwatch 2 comes out. And it's going to be difficult. But, on with the video. Now, it obviously all boils down to what we got announced at BlizzCon. And BlizzCon was phenomenal. I don't think anyone can deny how good BlizzCon was for Blizzard. It's exactly what it needed to be. It needed to pop off, and that's exactly what it did. The thing is, we got Overwatch 2 announced, right? But we got it announced. We didn't get a release date. We didn't get too much in terms of content for it. We got one mission that was playable, one new PvP mode, a new hero, which is Sojourn, obviously. And, yeah, we know about Echo, but we didn't get to see any of her abilities or anything. And... We got literally nothing for base new Overwatch 1, if you want to call it that now. And it's kind of worrying, huh? I mean, Overwatch has been suffering through lack of content for a while. This year, it kind of picked up a bit when we got the we got the workshop. Then we got Roll Queue, which has been massive. And then it's kind of tailed off. We got no hero, and that's a big, big miss. That's a big hole left in the content stream for Overwatch at the moment. Now, I d there, there are rumours, and some people are assuming that we're going to get a, her a, a, a new hero in March, or somewhere early next year, back on schedule. I'm not confident. I'm not confident. The only thing is, is Sojourn. The, the, Sojourn looks like she's almost ready, in some respects. When we saw that footage of her, yes, it was over to watch two update engine footage, but she had highlight intros and stuff like that. She had a game model. It was all working out. So maybe Sojourn's on the horizon. But the devs said themselves, for the next months, they're going to go dark. They're going to go really dark. You're not going to really hear from them. They're going to really, really plow into Overwatch 2. And I understand that. Thing is, Blizzard's a big company, right? Are they not two teams? Like... Yeah, perhaps you size down the Overwatch 1 team slightly when it's kind of coming to end of life, which it is, let's be honest. But there's got to be a team that's focused on Overwatch 1. There's got to be a team that's keeping it keeping it up to date, right? It's not going to get the continuous, continuous updates, but it hasn't had that since 2017, let's be honest. And we're in a meta, which has been around for a bit now, and... We haven't seen a major, major balance shift. And I thought we'd see a pretty major balance shift when Double Shield come in, or Double Barrier, I should say, came in. We haven't seen it. We really haven't seen it. And if it doesn't happen, uh, I think it's a real worry. Because Double Barrier meta is really causing a lot of problems in terms of people's empathy for the game. They're, they're falling out of love with the game because of this meta more than anyone did for, for goats or dive or whatever you can moan about those metas all you like but they were pretty high skilled metas goats required a lot of co uh, coordination so did dive now when we talk about double barrier we're talking about complete denial of long range hit scan and that's what really pops off when it comes to overwatch especially you know I'm not just talking about you playing Overwatch or me playing Overwatch, I'm talking about at the pro level as well. When people are watching Overwatch, like the inaugural season of the Overwatch League, we saw people like Birdring pop off on the Widowmaker or, you know, there's loads of players that were popping off on Hitscan Heroes and it was phenomenal and it got everyone roaring and it was just this phenomenal clips and clips and clips of these players, these really, really raw, talented players popping off. And now they're on Reaper or Doomfist. I can kind of I kind of accept Doomfist. May. And all of a sudden it's like 
Well, the only time they really, really pop off is when they got their ults. Let's be honest. You don't really see that really high skill. Reaper, it's, it's, it's going to be like, I'm going to press my W key and I'm going to press my mouse one. And I'm hopefully going to kill a load of people. And if I don't, then hopefully I'll kill something, something with my Q. And that's about it, right? There's no raw talent pure accuracy. There's no 3-4k Widow kills or 3-4k Tracer kills. Because we just don't see those heroes anymore. They can't get anything done in this meta. Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. If we don't see balance updates or regular balance updates, which I think we will. I think we have to. Otherwise, oh dear. Are there going to be any players left to play Overwatch 2 by the time that comes out? Um, I think we will see balance updates eventually, but I think it's going to take a while. So expect Double Barrier to be around for a lot longer than I think a lot of people expected. But then we talk about like heroes, maps. I don't think we are going to see a single new map until we see the new game mode or Overwatch 2. I don't think we're going to see a single new map. Simply because... There are four new maps coming to PvP with Overwatch 2. Then they've got to kind of rebalance those maps for the PvE in Overwatch 2. Then they've got to make them compatible with Overwatch 1 as well, because of the way they're going to do the integration. So there's a lot of work to be done there. And Blizzard admitted themselves that even the maps on the floor, the Rio de Janeiro map and the Toronto map, were not finished. So there's a lot of work to be done there. For, for the map designers and that's probably going to take a lot of their attention away from building maps for core overwatch so i wouldn't expect anything there we are going to get we've obviously just got map holes for the new competitive season season 19 i think that's fantastic but that leads us on to another issue uh paris paris since its introduction to overwatch is in my opinion the map of doom and I don't think anyone really disagrees with that. There's a lot of uh, haters on the Horizon Lunar Colony. There always have been. That's had a rework in the past. And it may or may not have worked. But in my opinion, the worst map in the game is Paris. Now, to great cheers, we heard in the map poll for Season 19 that we wouldn't be getting Paris and we wouldn't be getting Horizon Lunar Colony. But that still means they're in the game, though. They're still in the game. And... Before our next competitive season, I was hoping for a re rework of Paris. And that I don't think is going to happen. I don't think Paris is going to get reworked this side of Overwatch 2. And ooh, when that comes back into competitive, oh dear. That is, that is like a content update I really, really, really wanted. And I thought would been would have been... One of Blizzard's, you know, higher priorities, especially considering it's part of the game now, you know, it's making players' lives misery. So, you know, just like a quality of life sort of thing, could you could you update it? It's not too hard. All you've got to do is open up another avenue for someone to attack that first point. That is the problem with Paris, mainly. That would make the map a whole lot better. Just like they did with Temple of Anubis. It never used to have, I believe, its left pathway on the second point. I think it only had the middle and the right pathway, or I might be getting it the wrong way around. But that was changed very, very early in Overwatch's history, and it made the map a lot better. A lot of people still don't like Temple of Anubis. It's 2CP. Not a lot of people like 2CP. But, again, Paris and its rework seems to be dead in the water for now. And, ooh... That's a that's a stinger, that one. Anyway, at least we don't see it in this season for competitive. Now, a highly requested feature that has been wanted for a long, long time is going to come in the very near future. I believe it's going to go on the PTR this week, maybe even the day this video is going up. And it is the ability to go into a special deathmatch uh, match, the training range, or special arcade modes during a queue for competitive. That is, like, that is brilliant. Like, we've wanted that for a long long time and it looks like we're finally going to get it in in the near future now it's not going to go straight to uh live servers like the map pools did because there's a lot of there's probably a lot of testing to do with that because it's got to fit in you can't muck up a competitive match because someone hasn't come in from the deathmatch match they were just in or something so there's a lot of a lot of bug testing to do with that before it goes live 
But that's a really, really nice feature that's coming, but it's kind of a quality of life feature. It's not a feature that's like, ah, damn, this is new content. This is awesome. It's kind of just like, oh, I'm glad that's in the game. If you see what I mean? It's kind of like a glad it's in the game, not, oh, wow, this is amazing. This is a new feature. If you see what I mean. It's not a blow you away. It's a, that's nice. Something perhaps that should have been in the game a long time ago. Just saying. But, Looking at it from a content creator point of view, I'm thinking, well, where do I create my content? How do I how do I keep these videos going when there is like there's no content to look around? The events are going to be exactly the same. Yes, I can create two videos. No, not even two videos these days. One video on the skins they bring out. That's literally all I can do around an event these days. There's there's nothing else to do because there's no new crazy mode to look at. There's no crazy new content to look at. It's literally just skins. One of the Christmas skins we've already seen. It's a Sigma skin. So, again, it's going to be difficult. And December is a month I want to do a lot of Overwatch game content anyway. Because that is going to be... Uh, a grey period, right? This channel does a lot of esports coverage for Overwatch. We've just had the World Cup. It's been fantastic. And then in the new year, we're going to have the Overwatch League and all the build up to the 2020 season, which is going to be an absolute... It's going to be stunning, the 2020 season. I can feel it. With all the transfers that are going on with the new homestand format, that's going to be awesome. So there's going to be tons of tons of content there. But in terms of the game itself... Huh. What do you do? I can do a few videos on what we want to see in Overwatch 2, but that's like two, three videos. Maybe five. You can't do a massive, massive amount. So, I will attempt to do Overwatch content in December, uh, and probably near the end of this month as well, in terms of the game. It's it's not going to be easy and it's probably going to be some repeated content that other creators might have already done I'm not going to purposely go and look for content creators have already done and then say ha hey, I'm going to copy that nice uh, no I'm going to do it myself and then if it accidentally is the same as something that someone else has done maybe a couple of years ago or something then I apologise but the place Overwatch is at at the moment there's not much choice that's all I'm saying but I hope Blizzard pleasantly surprised us with uh, a few, just some nice little content updates, if nothing else. We've just had a Mercy uh, story revealed. So, hopefully, we will get one of those uh, three-tier challenges that we normally get when a origin, not an origin story, but like a lore story is revealed. There is a Mercy skin teased in it. So, hopefully, we are going to get that event where you can go and watch some streamers, get some loot from them, and then you play the game and you get some loot from them. Like the Baptiste one, like the Diva one, the Nanacola Diva one back along. Hopefully we're going to get that for Mercy pretty soon and there's going to be a new Mercy skin there. Again, it's just a skin at the end of the day, but at least it's something. At least it's something. But prepare for a very, very, very dry period of base Overwatch game content because it's very, very hard to do. People can still do their, you know... There are reviews of gameplay and all like that, like Stylosa does his uh, overanalyze and stuff like that. You can always do that because you've always got people playing the game and submitting the clips. But in terms of new content to like gush over, it, it ain't happening, Chief. So just prepare for a really, really dry content period for Overwatch. It's going to be rough, but hopefully on the horizon, again, we don't know when, rumours I've heard is not even next BlizzCon for Overwatch 2, so hey we are going to wait a while but hopefully when Overwatch 2 comes out there is going to be so much content that we're not going to know what to do with ourselves it's going to be like, all our Christmases have come at once, but it's going to be a long, long wait it's going to be a hard year, year and a half ahead but, for now thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. See you then.